we, we are meeting for another sculpture forum uh, via Zoom. Uh, I, I am with the usual Brent Jumso and Jock Ireland. Uh, and we are being recorded and will be edited by Rachel Bolander. Um, uh, and we are, we are, we are, we've come together to talk about an exhibition which we have seen in Hudson at Pamela Salisbury's gallery, uh, an exhibition of work by the uh, Japanese American artist uh, Hiroyuki Hamada. Uh, it's a small exhibition uh, comprised of just four objects and two uh, 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 works, um, one print and one, I think the other is a painting. Um, the, the objects, all four are wall mounted. Um, and uh, they're in the, in the uh, amazing space uh, not in the main gallery, but at the Palmer Salisbury's gallery has this, what was a carriage house, I think, at the back, um, a little courtyard, and then uh, this um, carriage house, and uh, Hamada's exhibition is on the ground floor in that space. Um, uh, and I mention this because it seemed in some ways a, 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 there was some dialogue between the space and the work. Uh, that, that's, you know, I, it was not, it's, the, the, the space is not the pure white walled gallery space that one is used to. And, and as I said, there's some dialogue between the objects and the space that I found uh, interesting. Um, and I, 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 you know, it's it's it, it's hard to kind of quite know where to begin talking about this work, which is very elegant and 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 thoughtful, tasteful, uh, beautifully executed. Um, you know, uh, um, and and I suppose in some way you know, intelligent work. Um, I, I, you know, I, I hadn't seen any of, of uh, Hiroyuki's work before. I had seen images of it. Uh, and I was profoundly disappointed. Um, and it took me a while to begin to kind of figure out why. Uh, and I'll hope to be able to somehow or other articulate that uh, as we go forward. But I would like to hear from Rand and, and, and Jock. Well, Garth, I don't know how I agree with you, but I, I was not moved by this work. And thinking, thinking it over, looking it over, the. The key thing that I miss is a is um, a kind of a an unpredictable interior life of its own. Um, I don't mean that you know the interior life of the artist, but an interior life of the object. You know, typically evidenced by the artist's person. Um, I I didn't find it. Um, you know, containing some surprise, some self-contradiction, some, um, you know, in, interior complexity or conflict. And uh, I, you, you could maybe um, assimilate those things to one word, uh, maybe on a fashionable word, something demonic, which I realize now that I really, look for and care for and, and engage things um, according to that, through that quality. Demonic? It, yeah. 
Yeah, demonic in the sense of a, you know, the independent individual life of a living thing. Chuck? Um, well, I, I'm, I'm a little baffled by the word demonic, but um, <laughs> I, I, uh, I, I think my take, I, I'm much more um, enthusiastic about the work uh, than uh, you guys. Um, and uh, uh, I, I, thinking about the show, I kept thinking about um, about my friend, our friend Sidney Geist, and uh, something he said you know, a long time ago, that um, he, he talked about being born into the world of cubism. And I've been thinking about what that meant for a long time. And, um, and I, I, he was, Sydney was born in 1914. 1914 was when, Picasso and Brock sort of went their separate ways. Uh, and uh, I, I did, there's nothing sort of special about Cubism except I, or at least thinking about Sydney, what Sydney said, I sort of think of Cubism or the kind of Cubism he was talking about as simply drawing, uh, but full board drawing real drawing, not just illustration, um, and, and a sense of a new kind of drawing. Uh, uh, and I, I don't know, I, I thought of uh, Sydney saying that, and then I thought of what was the world that um, Hiroyuki was born into. And it's a very different world. Uh, uh, and yet, I, uh, you know, the world of Hiroyuki is sort of the world of, I don't know, Saul LeWitt, Donald Judd, uh, um, a much more bleak uh, uh, world than uh, the, the sort of exciting world of Cubism. And um, and yet I see or in Hiroyuki's work an attempt to um, to separate himself from the uh, literalness uh, plainness uh, of Saul Lewitt, uh and to re-engage with drawing, to re-engage with illusion. And uh, it's that that uh, is sort of clear and exciting to me uh, in the show. Uh, uh, you know, it, they're all wall-based uh, sculptures or, you know, the, at least the four things that you might call objects or that Garth just called objects. Uh, uh, they're all about uh, uh, the tension between two dimensions and three dimensions, uh, and and in a, an intelligent and uh, and questioning way that uh, I, I don't know leaves me excited about uh, Hiroyuki, and you know I'm want to see more of his work and whatnot. I, 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 I hear you, John, you make a case. Um, I, 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 I didn't see it. I, I didn't see tension between two dimensions and three dimensions. I saw, I saw a very uh, rich uh, and beautiful surface uh, that, that in the end, 
uh, began to feel simply decorative because it did not, in 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 in, in, in to, to, to my eye at least, um, bear a, a, a kind of meaningful relationship to the form that that the surface was, uh, you know, adhered to. Um, the surfaces are are extraordinary and delicate and uh, rich, uh, um, but but and, you know and in some way obsessive, uh, you know, painstaking. Um, but uh, but 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 I didn't I didn't I didn't feel that that, that they had. Uh, and I don't feel, and I'm not convinced that they have, a, a, you know, they grow out of or or lead into a kind of interior uh, world uh, uh, within the object. Um, they, they, they seem to be, the objects seem to be objects uh, in order to provide a surface, in order to provide a, a complex surface and not just a flat rectangular surface uh, uh, you know the the, 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 the and, and 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 i mean you know you mentioned Sol Witt and i think you mentioned somebody else um but but clearly the work owes enormous debt to to martin Puria and and richard deacon i would think um to name two uh and i you know and that's neither here nor there except that there is, there is a, you know, apart from the surface, there is a great deal of familiarity in the forms that are employed. Um, and it, it began to feel to me that these forms were, in a sense, borrowed, uh, you know, a, a, as a vehicle for the surface. Yeah, I, I, I'm sort of follow you. But the thing is, it, I, I th think, you know, we're all, I mean, Brant might not be older than Hiroyuki, but um, we're from a different world. And uh, th there's, um, it, you know, it's just, he, I, I th think he's, um, He's just he he's not familiar with the things that you're talking about, Garth. But he's kind of knocking on the door, trying to get at. Uh, and they're not uh, those things aren't as available to him as they are to uh, to us. Uh, you know, we've lived in a in that. Uh, you know, world of cubism, that world of modernism and the richness of it. Um, but the uh, Hiroyuki hasn't. And, uh, and that's, uh, you know, you, I, I just, I, I don't expect him to be able to do that kind of, or to engage with it the way uh, the way we can uh, and and he but at the same time he's he's knocking on the door and um, and I'm excited by the uh... Jock I I mean I think you're being very generous and that's and that's um... You often are, and that's that's a great quality, and and I really appreciate it. Uh, on the other hand, you know, I have to respond to the work, and I don't mean to be unkind, but but I can't put myself in the mind of a younger person, and I don't see any reason to. I mean, it begins to feel as if you're making an excuse uh, for for the shortcomings of the work, as I see them. Um, and, and uh, uh, you know, when you talk about Hiroyuki coming from a different world, I, I, you, might, you might be going to talk about Japan and, and his upbringing there. 
and and uh, and presumably that has has since he I think he lived there till he was about eighteen. Um, that must have had a profound, uh, you know, uh, significant shaping of his worldview um, or his lived experience and his idea of what what's what and what's appropriate and what's meaningful and so on and and uh, you know and i mean I I, I I i i i found myself thinking of of noguchi another uh, japanese american artist uh, with a major reputation i mean huge reputation especially during his lifetime and 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 i i i found myself making comparisons i mean I, the work is clever and and as is and, and that's not a compliment and and i think that's true of noguchi and it's tasteful and that's not a compliment um and uh I'm, I'm sorry i don't agree with you yeah well i i'm sorry i don't agree with you but i i you know this tasteful business and um uh, uh cleverness it it's uh the primary i i i mean i don't i i understand your uh uh making the connection with uh noguchi but that kind of never occurred to me and what did occur to me is uh and you know i it just occurred to me i i have no there's no sort of factual basis in my response but it, i get uh, my sense is that uh his real background is uh uh some kind of art education in america that involves uh saul lewitt to pick a name uh uh but pick a name from a anti-illusion uh kind of school uh, and I, I think Hiroyuki did begin as a painter, and he, I see him, and this is my fantasy, uh, but I see him as making paintings and being unsatisfied with the uh, having to make an illusion uh, on a two-dimensional surface and moving out from that. Uh, uh, two-dimensional surface into three dimensions and um, and moving out only on the basis of uh, um, the sort of Saul Lewitt, Donald Judd specific objects world, that kind of thinking. Not, I, I can't sort of imagine his being able to trust Noguchi, though I, it, you know, as I say, this is my fantasy. Uh, but as he moved out, uh, as he moved off the wall, he entered a territory that's much more exciting than Saul Lewitt or Donald Judd. And that that's the basis for my enthusiasm. Right, I, I I hear you, and I think that's exactly right. I mean, I think I think he did he did, and I think begin as a painter, and I think he still makes paintings, I believe. So, um, and I think that's exactly right. And I mean, I I you know, um, uh, this small object that we're looking at now is the most interesting thing in the show to me. Um, and and you know and I think partly because it it does not, it does not um, you know seduce me by its elaborate and beautifully made surface. It 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 you know it's it's the surface is is delightful and and, and seductive, but it is not. Um, you know, articulated in the way that the others' objects have an articulated surface, um, and 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 it, and it's odd and quirky. And I I kind of um, you know began to feel that it existed uh, mm. 
you know, as an object in its own right, uh, uh, whereas some of the, well, not some of, all of the others seem to, as I said, exist in order to, to, to as you indicated, I think, Joe, you know, grow out of painting and provide a more elaborate surface than a flat rectangle um, for, for the author to work. Uh, this didn't, that one did not seem to be, to have that kind of origin. It seemed to come into the world as a thing, uh, as a physical thing uh, in its own right, rather than as a physical thing uh, developed uh, as a means to provide, uh, uh, you know, a surface as a means towards uh, yeah, I mean it's 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 a quirky, odd thing. Uh, you know, the the the, 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 the I, I saw this exhibition twice, once with, with you, Jock, and then once with my partner Leela Philip. Um and Leela did not assume that that bottom semisphere uh was part of the sculpture. I of course assumed that it was essential to the sculpture. Um interesting. Um, she thought it was just a kind of random shelf that it, it seemed appropriate. Interesting. Yeah, it, that's interesting because I I, uh, I was disappointed by the shelf-like thing, and I think of the other part if it's um, uh, if it's a two-part sculpture or what, whatever. Um, uh, I, I think that, that the thing that you're considering as uh, object-like is um, interesting because a big part of that is kind of a flat base for the head-like thing uh, that's poking out of it. And you could pick it up and tip it and sort of hang it on the wall uh, with, you know, you could, you, if you picked that up, took it off the shelf, uh, you, um, you, you can see a sort of a wall that's part of it. And, uh, and that's, I don't know, that's interesting to me. Uh, uh, it's, it, it, it's as if Hiroyuki is trying to take another step uh, into the three-dimensional world. Yeah, I, and, and that, that, that I think that's right, and I think that's that's what I responded to, um, and and uh, you know, and and I I think if if. Uh, I, I mean, again, I would I would certainly uh, be interested to see more of his work and to see how it how it evolves and and wh whether um, th this uh, uh, um, I don't know what to call it, but this um, preoccupation and almost obsession with uh, the the uh, sensitivity. Uh, the 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 care the craft the um, skill the elaborate surfaces uh, will perhaps um, um, you know I, who knows but I, I I'm just wondering if perhaps you know the the the, the sculptural the three dimensional physical uh, objectness will begin to become more of a presence, uh, uh, you know, perhaps uh, with the surface uh, being less uh, important. Not that surface is ever unimportant, but, but um, it, it, you know, my, my, anyway, enough brand, you've been very quiet. I think I, I don't. You mentioned the word demonic, and I, I've been I've been 
I, like Jock, I was a bit kind of taken aback by that word, but but um, the the quality that I found missing, or one of the kind of aspects that I found missing, um, was a sense of urgency or a sense of purposefulness. There you um, are. Sorry? There you are. Um, yeah, uh, I found myself looking at some of the, the things in that space right around the corner there. There's a, um, I, I guess it's an old wash basin. It's cast iron thing. And, uh, you know, it is tremendous. And it, 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 the contrast between it and these, these other um, objects in the space was m remarkable. I mean, that thing had a kind of presence that was assertion oh god yes i mean it was i mean it was really uh meaningful i mean it was meant it was meant in a way that yeah i i, I don't know i mean i i guess i'm fishing for some kind of um uh, yeah that, but you're fishing in were demonic yeah, well, when you bring in that uh, the wash basin, and I'm not exactly sure what you're talking about. You, you but that's um, uh, that's the real world. That's the literal world, and that's the world that, in a way, uh, Garth, it, you know, I don't know, it, uh, in about 1960 you stopped <laughs> making figures. Uh, but also in 1960, you know, Warhol arrived on the scene and pop art and uh, a whole lot of stuff uh, that kind of ended the world of cubism, the world of abstract expressions, expressionism. And, uh, and that, uh, in that new world that, uh, you know, illusion was abandoned and uh, this literalness was engaged with and engaged with, with varying degrees of intelligence. Uh, uh, you know, some uh, very intelligent um, uh, engagement, but um, it, it's, uh, you know, Hiroyuki is decide, you know, it might be, sh his work might be shy or tentative compared to the wash basin, but it's, it's a deliberate break with that kind of, uh, I don't know, literalness. Yeah, you know, I, Jock, I, I mean, think I think um, um, Jock, I think it's uh, perfectly well possible that you know I'm missing something, um, that and that there's uh, you know kind of a, a story, a conversation in these things that that I just haven't caught, um, but same time you know like just looking at them as one looks at everything else in the world you know they're, they're not found uh they're not use objects they're uh you know statements by another person and i find them I mean, this kind of thing that i miss i find them um remarkably free of inflection i you know i don't sense an internal life that you know that pushes and and um, you know kind of distends and and a, a form and finds a seat for itself in the world that asserts itself in some fashion. That kind of thing I I miss and I and I don't think I could miss that by it's just being you know of another kind of language or another perspective. I just I just find it missing. Um, you know that 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 the music might be in a whole other notation, but still, I would hear it if it's there. I, I find this um, 
you know, short on illusion and, and short on a kind of a, you know, assertive shapeliness of, that it just has a need to be what it is and, uh, you know, make a form for itself. It looks like art. Yeah. Yeah, I, I would go along with that. I mean, I think that is the, 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 what I came away feeling, you know, is that the, 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 uh, and I mean, I get, again, it's not a nice thing to say, and I don't mean to be unkind. I mean, you know, because any, any, just any kind of verbal description of this work would lead me to think that I, I really, I'm going to like it. Um, uh, you know, but that's the problem. Um, it seems to be a, like a kind of, uh, you know, somebody who is, is, Believes in art and is making art, um, but 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 whose necessity, whose need is somehow or other uh, to be uh, in the studio, away from the world. And, and the, the connection between his lived experience and the things that are emerging in the studio um, don't seem to me to be. Uh, I, I didn't. I didn't feel a connection. I didn't feel. I mean, unless I'm missing something, you know, that is uniquely Japanese, and I'm willing to go there. I'm willing to say, yeah, yeah that's a possibility. And, and maybe if I were to kind of be, be more open to this work or try to somehow other get, get, you know, I, I might learn something. I might learn something about, about you know, a, a Japanese experience. Um, I, I, you know, I mean, this is possible, but I did not, it didn't happen for me. Um, uh, it doesn't happen for me even with Noguchi. Well, no, I, it's that one of the things that we haven't mentioned is that everything in the show was, or there were important differences. Among, you know, it was a small show, six pieces, and they were all kind of very different. Uh, and the, uh, you know, this missing sense of urgency or this sense of urgency that is missing for you, Garth, and I think for Brant, I I saw it as being Hiroyuki's questioning of himself. It, you know, he put six very different things up in a gallery, and why did he do, do that? And I think a very, or my sense of things is that he's asking himself uh, what am I doing uh, and uh, you know why am I you know he they're not self-satisfied there's nothing self-satisfied about any of the pieces and that uh, I don't know that's key to my interest in them uh, yeah, I think I think I mean the thing again. You're being generous. I don't. I, I you know. Uh, yeah, six things that that, that 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 in some sense you could say are very different, but they all had the same. I felt they all had the same quality of feeling. They all felt the same. But, you know. Yeah, I mean not identical, but they all basically felt the same. The same. The same sensibility. The same emotional kind of uh, weight, the same emotional tenor, the same emotional kind of, and, I mean, you know, I don't know what he's as asking himself, what am I doing? He's making art. Well, I, I, I'm not sure that he's as confident about that as you're suggesting. Um, uh, and and I don't know, just the mix of black and white. And, you know, he's not 
a Japanese guy, he's a Japanese American. Um, it, it's, there's a, uh, there's a complexity to what's going on here. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I can see you're making out a case that the work is interesting, even intriguing. Um, I don't hear you making out a case that it was ultimately satisfying. Yeah, yeah, that, that's right. Uh, uh, it, it, it's, uh, it's not. And he's, uh, it, you know, it, it, it's sort of much less important that it's not satisfy, satisfy or completely satisfying to me. It's that it's not satisfying to Hiroyuki that's interesting. Ah, well, now we have a point of agreement. Um, so, we, we, you know, that's a different matter than we don't know whether Hiroyuki is is satisfied with the work or not. I mean, he's put it out there in public. Yeah. And, and to, to, to the extent that he's done that, you know, he's satisfied with it. That is, he's saying this is, you know, this is me as best as I can formulate it at the moment. Um, well, or, or it, it, he's put it out there to ask, is this me? Uh, you know, he's, what no, is this? Uh, I, I, well, that we, you know, uh, sorry. I, I mean, the guy has been doing this for a while. It's not like he's just, uh, you know, graduated from uh, an MFA course and, you know, we're looking at, at the work at that level. I mean, if he's had considerable uh, attention and, and support. Um, so I think, I, I mean, I would go the other way and, and if anything, say, you know, that he is really rather pleased with this work. Well, I, if yeah, I had I, to, if I had to make, you know, a guess as to his his feeling about it, I, I you know, I mean, I, we don't know, and that's yeah. pure speculation, isn't it? I mean, you think the work itself is sufficiently open ended, I suppose, to leave the question as as to the author's uh, feelings about it, you know, uh, available in some way. Uh, I, I don't think the work is open-ended in that way. Yeah, but it just, it, it's, you know, all of the pieces were on the wall. It, he's not able to put something in the middle of the room, though I think he's had shows where things have been in the middle of the room. Yes, certainly he has. Yeah, but uh, it's, I, I don't know, there, there's something significant about his sort of clinging to the wall and it's related to this tentativeness this uh unsatis unsatisfiedness uh and, and he you know he's still young and uh i think might you know break through some i who knows uh, I mean, Jock, it could well be that, you know, in an analogy with uh, with work of Ellis Cabrera that we looked at a few weeks ago, that, um, you know, if one doesn't ask certain questions or, or um, you know, insists on certain answers, you, you could miss something that's that's um, delicate and, and different and uh, you know, it's just not perfectly evident. I, I think that that there was something going on in Cabrera's work that was distinct and divergent, different from, you know, her contemporaries, Moore and Hepworth, et cetera, that's easy to miss. Um, it might be that I'm just not on to something here, but, um, you know, I'm curious about what what you're moved by here, because I just I couldn't I, I I just couldn't catch something for myself. Yeah, I, it's <clears throat> it's not a, a you know a particular piece or a particular 
part of a piece, uh, but it's it's the uh, it, it just the whole exhibition mm -hmm. was uh, uh, it, you know a challenge to me, and and I don't know Garth and I had mm -hmm. lunch uh, when we visited the show together, and and he uh, he brought up. Uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, zombie formalism or craft well, fraction. You, you did, John. You brought up zombie formalism. I, 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 I barely remember the phrase. But well, and, but the, the thing is, Good one. yeah, but the, this is decisively not zombie formalism. And that, uh, I, you know that sort of first impression um, be you know that first impression being contradicted you know this sense in which I'm you know confident about this not being zombie formalism is what is exciting about it and and it, it you know it does touch on uh, uh, saying, you know, all that Garth, uh, you know, brought up when he brings in Noguchi or brings in Japan, uh, you know, that stuff is swimming around, uh, yeah, I, 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 I don't know, I mean, I find that I, I think we've probably yeah. said all we can say. I mean, I just feel that this is work that, that somehow that I ought to like and I ought to be touched by. And, and I, I, I just wasn't, and I'm trying to understand why I wasn't. And maybe, you know, all I'm doing is revealing my own insensitivity. Um, but there we are. Uh, all right. Okay, well, thank you. So, there we are. No, it was, it, it was you brought up zombie formalism, Jock, and, and you're being much more generous in this exchange than you were over lunch. <laughs> that should be on the record. <laughs>